in this session we will be discussing about assembly projects so project 1 will be complete assignment for you I will show you and start from project 2 so that you can correlate and start project 1 if you see the project 2 it is a pedestal bearing assembly where you have the component details and you have six different type of components which you can directly see here that you have the body cap you have base you have square head bolt you have nut and lock nuts and different material like cast iron to mild steel and gun metal for the brass support you have and you have the details dimension here and you can find in most of the engineering drawing books this particular project but our fundamental requirement is to understand the assembly consequences and fundamentals so if you see this particular component we have to start from the base so this is the base component so let me start from scratch let me delete this and how to bring this component also I'll show you so start with the assembly extension then edge explained you will get this default interface where in the right side you can see the assemble so switch on all the coordinates and go for new assembly go for pedestal bearing assembly ok you will get this interface go for assemble and you can go for the component the first component that is base and here I need to assemble in the right direction so this base fundamentally I need to mount to this particular plane so that this will be oriented like this let us say this front of this bearing I need to align with respect to front of this and finally this side plane I will be assembling through this approach and you can go for zero for locking the position so like this you can define the position fully constant or you can fix it also if you have the first component in the right direction so after creating this I will recall my second component by clicking assemble so here I will go to the second part this is the second part this is the oil hole which will be mounted here this oil hole will be automatically aligned to this oil hole and you can see the direction flip and after that I am going for placement and add a new constant where by pressing ctrl alt you can check it and you can orient it so as per your requirement you can exactly mount it then this particular base I will be fixing to this base and now you can check the interface by ctrl alt this likewise you can have your cap insert the component third component I am going for cap this is the cap so if you go to control D control alt you can through right button you can move it and through center button you can rotate this as per your initial comfortness so here what I will be doing is this hole to this hole I will be aligning and this hole to this hole I will be aligning and finally this to this will be aligning for putting the positions in the correct perspective and go for ok after that we will start inserting the bolt here insert the fourth component this is here so you can go to control alt and center button to rotate this 
so this particular cylindrical face will be aligned to this everything I'm doing to automatic so this will get changed now the bolts base will be mounted to this rectangular flat base and you can go for your distance as 0 but it is not properly because still you have the rotation so this rotation you can arrest by properly assigning the sides so any two sides you have to match it you can go to the new constant this I can match to let us say this side and the angle I am requiring 0 in this way exactly this will get locked to the bottom and if you want certain angle that you can give just like that you want to repeat this for this side so select this right click and go for repeat and all this three you can add or any one locking reference you can add I'm just going for one and I'm selecting this this will get mounted go for confirm this component also fully constant you can check it right click edit definition this also fully constant just like that you can mount your nuts insert your final component these are the two different category knot bottom knot and top knots once you have it you select your cylindrical surface here and here and after that you can locate your component control alt right button and I'm interested to set this base to this base and the distance will be 0 so you can go for coincident this will get coincident and go to accept because this is fully constant likewise you can have your final component that is this and here also you can have the cylindrical face to this cylindrical face and finally you can go for control alt right button to lift it to the proper position select this and select this top and this will be of course coincident in this way this will get mounted go for ok and finally this two I need to repeat and place it here this right click repeat any one insert you can add it and select the cylindrical face confirm top knot right click go to repeat select the insert add select the cylindrical face confirm now we'll be seeing about the exploded status go to view explode explode view and this will be done and as I explained you can alter it go to view explode edit position and as per your requirement you can select the component and you can edit it Let's select it relocate this as for a requirement ok so this is the exploded status of your assembly and in this way you can follow the dimensions and create the component and finally assemble as I have shown and finally you can create the exploded view as it is shown here in the same way if we'll come to the project one which is very simple and you can start it with the default dimensions which is given here and you have eight different component a very small small component that this is the top view and front view by seeing the dimensions you create the components nuts your boost and finally you will be able to assemble this by align and mat principle and finally you will be able to get the exploded view also and like that you can take any example and you can practice this and you can master the assembly concept thank you